Hi, my name is Angela, and this is my honest review of CustomMade.com. Keep watching to see how CustomMade took my ring from inspiration to design to reality, and what happened when I changed my mind halfway through the process. When my first child was born, my husband got me a topaz ring as a push present. I wore this ring every day on my right hand, and on my left hand was my engagement ring and wedding band. Fast forward a few years and this ring was stolen along with all my other jewelry after a party at my house. I was devastated. This ring was really sentimental. Well, fast forward another few years and another child and I'm finally deciding to replace it. I had a few ideas of what I wanted based on some designs that I had seen, but I wasn't totally sure. I poked around online and found a few rings with potential, but then I came across custom made. I loved the idea of designing something custom, but I was skeptical of using custom made because I hadn't heard of them before. Then I noticed that they have over 9,000 five-star reviews and decided to give it a try. Here's what happened next. I opened my account and I filled out their survey, including uploading some sample images of rings that I liked and giving them my budget. This kicked off my project timeline, which I can see in my account. They then asked my ring size. I guessed a six, but I felt like I was winging it with that guess. This was not a problem because Custom Made sent a free ring sizing kit. It was perfect. It took just four days to get the ring sizer and it was a super fast turnaround. The Custom Made notifications went straight into my email, so anytime there was a notification, I knew right away. My first message from Custom Made was within 24 hours of opening my account. It had all the details of the process, including how long the process would take and that I could pay $150 extra if I needed rush service. It also told me about my center stone, which was an opal. I was getting the stone from Custom Made too, and Marie's gave me a few styles of opals with their prices to choose from. The opaque white fit my budget, and this is the one that I chose. I looked at my design plan and I changed my mind about using yellow gold, which was the color of the gold in my sample images. I wanted to see my ring in white gold and silver to see the price differences. Marie's didn't even blink and offered me my drawings with a yellow and white band. My drawings were ready in 48 hours. I couldn't believe it. The drawings were so nice, but there was something about the design that just wasn't landing with me. I thought it would look so much better as a halo. I was almost scared to tell Marie's. But I did, and you know what? It was totally fine. I couldn't find any design inspiration photos either, so I just told Marie's what I wanted, and that was a halo, and I waited for Marie's to get back to me. I also asked about price because I hadn't seen anything on pricing yet. To my surprise, Marie's was super patient and said we could tweak the design until I was happy. Marie's also said that I would pay the initial deposit of $100 when I was happy with my design. I was thrilled when I received the revised design. I knew the second I saw it that they nailed it. Marie's offered to keep tweaking it if I wasn't happy quite yet, but I loved it, so I knew we were done with this design phase. After I approved the concept artwork, we needed to discuss budget. The pricing for my ring was dependent on the metal and the accent stones. Marie's gave me a few guides to help me make my decision alongside some price estimates. The pricing tool made it very easy to see what's included in the price and compare prices among the three different metals that I had requested. I got different price estimates, one for sterling silver, one for 10 karat white gold, and 14 karat white gold. The sterling silver estimate was the lowest at $1,225 to $1,400. The price includes the metal, the one carat opal, and 10 blue topaz accent stones and 10 peridot accent stones. The 10 carat white gold estimate was slightly higher at $1,445 to $1,620. And the 14 carat white gold estimate was the highest at $1,625 to $1,800. Marie's recommended this option because white gold is more durable than sterling silver, which scratches more easily than gold and isn't ideal for everyday wear. All of these options are within my budget, so I decided to go with option C because I'd like to have this double as my engagement ring. So I'd like to choose the best metal for my ring so I can wear it every day. I paid my $100 deposit and waited for the next step.
At this point, I got handed off to Ken, who is one of the custom-made gem experts. He personally chose two opals for me from the custom-made collection. My first option was a 0.59 carat white opal for $253, and the second option was a 0.65 carat opal for $200. I could see that the color was better on the first one, even though it was smaller. There was a bit of yellowness in the second stone, so I chose option one. Custom Made included some materials to show me exactly what I should be looking for in an opal, but I really liked option one, so that's the one I went with. Then I got a message from Sheena, who is my design lead. She rendered the 3D design of my ring, and it was really cool to see that. I loved the clean edges on the band. My one complaint is that the white opal looked a little yellow, so that made me nervous, but I don't think I picked the yellow stone, so the color may not be accurate on the 3D design. Other than that, it looks exactly like what I wanted. It doesn't look like it's going to sit very high, which also makes it very easy to wear every day. Before I could approve the 3D model, I needed to choose the finish. I chose a polished finish instead of a brushed or a matte look. They sent me real life examples of the different finishes so I could make an informed choice. I still stuck with polished, which is what I had in mind. Sheena also confirmed my ring size before moving to production. It's a good thing we did that because I'm actually a six and a half and not a six. So get the ring sizer. I then got the final proposal for the whole project. I needed to approve it before the ring could go into production. I reviewed all of the details and everything was correct and within the price range I was expecting. I accepted the proposal and paid the 50% deposit. Lulu, my production lead, was in charge of making sure my design became a real ring. Lulu notified me once my stones arrived on October 4th and what they were doing with the ring to get it ready for me, including casting, which means they pour and cool the metal and polishing and the stone setting. Each stone is set by hand, which is so neat to think about. The last message from Lulu on October 26th estimated that my ring would be finished within the next week. My ring was actually finished two days later and that they sent photos of the finished piece. I was just floored with how much better the ring looked than the drawings. Oh my gosh, it was just so pretty, and I knew it was going to look better in person. They also said that they would automatically process the second payment, which was fine with me. I quickly got a tracking number, and they charged my card. The unboxing experience was unreal. Let's take a look at the actual moment I unboxed my ring. It took about 11 weeks to go from opening my account to a finished ring on my finger. I had a four-person team that worked on my ring, but it felt like a seamless experience as I moved from one person to the next. The main pros for Custom Made are that they provide a luxury experience where I felt like I had a dedicated team committed to ensuring that I got exactly what I wanted. This isn't a place where you're going to point and click and buy a ring or just roll into a jewelry store and buy something that's in stock. This is an experience to create something meaningful. I changed my mind about the design a few times during the process and they were supportive and patient with my changes. The best part was somehow I paid less for my piece that I personally designed than what I would have paid at other online jewelers. I really don't know how they do this. There was a ton of communication from Custom Made. I was never wondering where I was in the process. Custom Made takes a lot of time to explain every step of the process to you so you can make a fully informed decision about your piece. They also use a firm, so I could finance the ring if I wanted to. I see a lot of companies using a firm, so this is probably a popular option. The cons were it does take a little time to get your piece, but the wait is well worth it. The image of my center stone on the 3D design didn't quite look like the gem photos my gem expert sent me, but the real ring looked exactly like the gem photos.